Hi, my name is Peter. I built a business that went from zero to 40 million in 12 months. And I used to be this broke, struggling skateboarder who lived in my parents' basement. And 10 years later, I had to discover a lot of secrets to learn how to get rid of the scarcity mentality and create a lot more abundance in my life. So if you are struggling with financial abundance, you're in a place where you need, want, or would like money, then this is the video for you. We're going through a three-step routine. First part, we're gonna go with the meditation. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to think about, we always keep our eye on the prize, right? So I want you to focus on the millionaire version of you, millionaire Shaft, for example. Shaft's becoming a millionaire right now. So the first thing is there's a version of you, there is or there isn't, we don't know yet, but there could be a millionaire version of you in your life, a life where you're fucking a millionaire and you have it all down. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go into a deep meditation and we're gonna have a conversation with God. A real fucking sit down at the dinner table. Listen, bro, no more fucking riddles. No more beating around the bush. I need black and white. Am I gonna be a millionaire or not? by X date, by the time of this, because if I'm doing it by 70, that's way too fucking late. I need it by X amount of time. You and I both know I'm gonna do way more with my life if I'm fucking rich. So give me the answer, yes or no, black or white. Am I becoming a millionaire by the time five July years July the 3rd, 2023. 2023, something yeah. like that, right? Just by a certain age, right? Like a solid deadline. Yeah. And give it like, you know, millionaire is a big bump. So it, just give it like a three year window. Put it by a three where, Four year, five year, 10 year, those windows are great. Um, so that's the first thing, conversations with God. Now, if you believe the universe, the questions you need to ask before yourself is, do you believe the universe has your back? Do you believe you have a plan? The universe has an amazing plan for you. And um, do you trust the universe? If the universe said yes, would you fucking believe it? That's the first thing you need to decide right now. If you got the fucking answer you were looking for, would you believe it or would you doubt it? I would believe it because of the level of magic I've done for such a long time. If yes. you can believe it, the only proof to the universe that you believe what it's saying is your emotions, is your feelings. Neville Goddard says faith is feeling and it's so fucking true, right? It means that if you believed, you would feel amazing, right? This sudden state that you're in right now where you're fucking tight and you're like, this, this is this weird energy. That's, you're attracting all these negative. It's getting worse and worse and worse. The day every day by, it gets worse and worse because that's what you're putting out. But how come you're here then? I'm here to teach you that when you get that answer from God and God says yes, then you no longer want, need, or would like to becoming a millionaire. You are now becoming a millionaire. You are on a path that the universe said you will arrive at the end of, right? So you are now on the I am becoming a millionaire path and we're tuning into that millionaire version of you in tuning in, that's the real me. This other broke version is not me. This is this unevolved me. This is the piece of shit me. This is the evolved me down the line. In fact, that's more me than this is me. Mm. Right now, I'm a millionaire stuck in a broke guy's body. I used to say that to myself all the time. A rich guy stuck trapped in a broke guy's body. How the fuck do I get out of here? <laughs> that was it, and it worked really well. So when you do that, when you tap into the millionaire version of yourself and you believe that, hey, I'm becoming a millionaire, you start to feel amazing. You start to trust, hey, it's coming true. Everything's fucking coming true I've always asked for. It doesn't matter what's happened to me on the outside, it's all coming true. And you start putting yourself in this positive, emotional, abundance, great mentality, where you just put yourself on that frequency where you can just vibe and things start to be attracted to you. You plant the seed in the ground, in the, the neediness, the wanting, all the things that are repelling your life. Never say those words again, but need or want. Never say that shit again for the rest of your life. I am becoming I am rich, mm. those kind of things, whatever makes it seem true for you. So, any questions? I have a question. Yeah. Um, this year is the first time I went into my savings since 2004. Yes. That hurts my whole soul. Right. So when I go into my savings, it's like, okay, I'm trying to fake it till I make it. I'm saying these words, I will become, I, I'm becoming a millionaire and all this stuff, but then, the environment and the evidence around me isn't pointing in that direction. How do yes. I maintain focus? After this ceremony, you are gonna enter into what I call the battle of faith. Okay. This is where the universe really tests you and says, do you believe me or not, motherfucker? Because you can feel good right after a ceremony, but yes. you gotta hold this shit. I gotta hold it this takes shit. three months. The battle of faith took three months. And I know because I just went through this. Oh. I just lost 95% of a fortune in a crypto catastrophic crash. And I didn't have a business. I didn't have a product. I had no way. I had no team. 
I had no way and I didn't want to start another company. And I said, the only fucking way out of the situation is manifesting. And even though my whole world was on fire around me, I went to a fucking park. I had a conversation with God and I said, are we doing this or not? Yes or no, black and white. And I got the fucking yes, we're doing it answer. So I had to believe Oh, wow. For the next three months, I would study manifestation and I would fucking Whoa. thank the Lord now that I'm becoming rich. Now that's something amazing about to happen in my life. Even though on the outside, it was painful. And I would have moments where I would fall and be like, fuck, everything's collapsing. And then I go, sorry, universe. I'm sorry. I know you told me. You told me. I get it. Cancel that request. I believe something amazing about to happen. And while everything's on fire, when you can go inside and start to trust the universe and you faith is feeling, you can't bullshit it. You feel amazing or you don't. That's how the universe knows. And if you can do that, things will happen. And as I started to do that, one day I went on a boat in Croatia and I ran into Vishen Lakhiani. And now I fucking leave the things at Mind Valley and made my last business look like I was running a lemonade stand, right? So <laughs> shit fucking shit happens. happens. Sometimes manifesting is the only way you can get out of a situation. Fuck. And when you do this, you are about to enter the battle of faith. I went through the battle of faith. It was three months long. And you gotta prove it to the universe that you really fucking believe. And then you will be blessed with an opportunity greater than you can ever imagine. Okay, November is gonna be my deadline date. I said tomorrow, August the 1st, is when I'm gonna start creating my 100,000 um, pound revenue stream that's gonna come in every single month for the next rest of my life. Yeah. So, uh, okay, you faith is feeling. I got faith this, Faith is bro. feeling. You're gonna go through the battle of faith. And if you make it fucking through, you're gonna make it through, right? You gotta trust the universe, you gotta believe, you gotta put out, thank you fucking God, I know you got a plan for me. I'm so excited to see it, just make it easy and clear for me to see. Thank you for making it easy and clear for me to see. I know we're gonna do big. Both, you and I both know we can do way more with our life if we're fucking balling, okay? <laughs> yeah. So let's do it. I mean, the right? parties we could put on. Put me on, the parties we can put on, the people <laughs> we can insane. meet, the, the people we can impact, the girls we can fuck, <laughs> yes. endless, right? Endless. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, great. Get in that fucking game, go enter, have your conversation, and then join the battle. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> okay. Oh, I feel sick. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Live in the end. Live in that moment as you're already the fucking millionaire once you get there. Tap into that real version of yourself. It's called living in the end. If you want to learn more, study Neville Goddard. Faith is feeling. Live in the end. The most woke man on the planet. He's the guy I studied to fucking do this. Peace out. You also mentioned a book. A millionaire mindset something. If you struggle, if you have broke, if you have a struggling, there's a book called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind that helped yes. transform my life. Non book about the difference between rich people and poor people thing. Mm -hmm. It goes into this a lot. If you want to change the fruits, you got to yeah. change the roots. Ooh, Everything underneath that. is what you got to change. You got to rip out the weeds, yeah. all these bullshit limiting beliefs that are holding you back, and you got to plant new seeds. And you got to be patient because you're planting a seed and then it waters and grows. You've been mm -hmm. watering the weeds your whole life. And now we're going to rip out the weeds, plant new abundant seeds, prosperity seeds, the speeds of you becoming a millionaire. And as you water those and you focus on that, it begins to flourish. One last question. Where did you find your tribe? How did you find not broke people? Um, now, there's nothing against broke people. That's not the problem. The problem is you're not hanging out with anybody who's where you want to be. Yeah. That's the problem. That's my problem. So what changed my life was I started a Skype group. I wanted to make $1,000 a day on the internet, I, I, but I didn't know any money making $1,000 a day. This was the clear problem because you are the average of your five closest friends. I didn't have any friends doing this. Yeah. So I started a Skype group. I scoured the internet. I scoured the Facebook groups. I scoured the online forums looking for, hey, I'm looking for five guys who all make $1,000 a day on the internet. I want to put you in a Skype group. Where it's free. We're going to shoot the shit on Wednesday. It's a place because your girlfriend doesn't want to fucking talk about your business. We can all grow. Turns out they all wanted to be part of it. They loved it. We ended up becoming great friends and my <gasps> skills took off like a fucking rocket because I'm surrounded by five people all making $1,000 a day on the internet now. And four months later, I made my first $1,000 a day. <laughs> Holy shit. After struggling. <clears throat> and it doesn't end there, right? Because after doing that, I was like, wow, I wonder if this could work for $10,000 a day. It just worked for $1,000 <laughs> a day. I should try this again for bigger money, right? What's the difference? So I scoured the internet. I find this guy who's one of the biggest guys on the planet, a Facebook advertiser. And I go, hey, bro. I got this free fucking Facebook group. I got this free group, Facebook advertisers. You can just jump on in. You don't have to say anything and we just shoot the shit. What do you think? He's like, fuck your group. Fuck your stupid group. I'm not gonna tell you anything. I just wanted to get my secrets and all that shit. Get the fuck out of here. I'm like, dude, come on. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. He's like, I'm not joining your stupid fucking group. I'm like, fine. The next day he hits me back up. He's like, 
I'm not joining your stupid fucking group. But my business partner says he's down. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, great. Apparently he's got this fucking behind the scenes business partner who who just likes living on islands and, you know, drinking, having nice drinks. And that's pretty much it. He's not the Lambo big boob mansion guy that the other, his business partner is, right? <laughs> Completely opposite, right? So he joins the group. We become close friends. We started hanging out. And one day he's like, yo, why don't you come work for us? So all of a sudden I went from broke struggling guy to making a thousand dollars a day to having the biggest Facebook advertisers on the planet invite me over to sleep on their couch to teach me the secrets of stacking fucking cash on the internet. Yeah, bro. <laughs> my skills took off like a rocket. And when I was 25, I was sleeping on my friend's floor with cockroaches climbing over me. And when I was 26, I bought a fucking $25,000 gold Rolex while I was living <laughs> in a fucking crib in a $6,000 a month fucking place with bitches all around me. Amazing. Okay, manifest. In that book, I read Conversation with God. That, what, that's, what, that's what changed my life in that one. But it comes down, bro. Faith is feeling. Even though my life was shit, I had to believe. Mm. And I said back then, I'm a rich guy trapped in a broke guy's body. I got to get the fuck out of here. This is not me. I'm a rich guy. And I had to believe something amazing about to happen. And the universe provided. And it's about to provide it to you. So jump on in there. Do your meditation. Have your conversation with God. Faith is feeling. Prove you fucking believe with your emotions. And set up a system where you can feel amazing every single day mm. and prove the universe that you got this. Keep your eye on the prize. Focus on you becoming a millionaire. That's it. Bro. Bam. Okay. I'm doing it. Let's go, hey. let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs>